Well, it is National Signing Day, at least early signing day for football programs across the country. And the story is the same at the University of South Dakota. And joining me now to talk a little bit about the newest crop of coyotes is head coach Bob Nielsen. And Bob, uh, this is always an exciting time of year. It's only been a few years where we've had this early signing period, the December period. How has the recruiting game changed? If you take COVID out of it, just with the fact that now we're doing this in December instead of waiting until February. It sped everything up. Uh, you know, the calendars now are significantly different than they were uh, five years ago. And uh, both for us as coaches. And, and I also think the same is true for the student athletes and, you know, how you have to do things, the limited, limited amount of time that you have actually as a, uh, as a staff to, to travel and, and personally uh, see young men and families before this early signing date uh, has uh, become condensed. And, and, uh, and so it's it's really uh, it really means you got to pack a lot <laughs> into a very short period of time, and you know we're excited about the group that uh, have committed to, to be a part of the future of our program and and what they will uh, add to our football program. And it is a little bit more unique still this year, given all of those COVID circumstances that have kind of filtered their way down over the last couple of years. You're just simply you don't have as many scholarships available because of all that. And how how has that changed the process for you guys over the last couple of cycles? Well, you look at our roster and I think it's 64, 65 uh, returning freshmen um, in terms of their actual eligibility. And so. Uh, everybody's rosters are similar in that regard, and and uh, with uh, you know more returning players, uh, less uh, uh, players uh, leaving your program due to graduation. You know, with uh, the fact that they want to come back for that additional year, uh, it's going to take a couple of years before that really cycles out. And so, everyone's recruiting classes are going to be slightly smaller. Won't be quite as many scholarship opportunities. Uh, throughout uh, Division One football for uh, the graduating class of 22. Name of the game, of course, is not only adding talent, but filling needs and adding depth. And that's always the case when you when you get into these recruiting situations. As you look at this class, 17 guys in total joining the program. Um, what what really stands out about this group? And do you feel like you met the biggest needs that you guys had targeted in this cycle? You look at the linebacker room where uh, where we had uh, three seniors that played at a really high level, you know, counting uh, Jack Cochran and then the two guys that played at the outside and in Jake Matthew and Dewan Cooper. And and so a uh, big part of of our, re our recruiting class this year was to address uh, that uh, need uh, to bring, you know, bring uh, some additional quality uh, young men into that position group. You look across our program, there's always a need up front on both sides of the football. And so you're, you're always looking to bring in uh, depth in those line positions. I think that's critically important at, at our level and particularly in the Missouri Valley Conference. And so uh, it, it's much more, instead of a, kind of a broad brush approach, a much more a specific approach uh, in, in addressing some of those critical, uh, critical needs uh, in uh, this 22 class. Let's look at the skill guys specifically offensively, and, and there's not a lot of them on this list, largely because, as you kind of alluded to earlier, you got a lot of guys coming back, and, and it's always great to have a lot of talent coming back at the skill spots in particular on offense. If you had to be more selective like you did this year just, just for the sake of numbers, how pleased are you with, with this small group of skill guys that you were bringing in in this class? Yeah, all three of them are high-level uh, performers that, uh, you know, I think are going to hit the ground running in our program, and that's what you, you want, uh, you know, at every position group, understanding that some, you know, may require, uh, you know, more development, particularly as you talk about the upfront positions. But, uh, you know, with those offensive skill players, we think they're all – uh, guys that have uh, performed at a really high level, guys that are going to transition to the college game uh, very well and, and uh, as a result uh, be significant contributors early on. How about the quarterback in particular? Sergio Perez had, had some incredible numbers that he put up at Garland High School in Texas last year. He is the one early enrollee in this freshman class that's coming in for the 2022 season. Uh, is it more important or how important, I guess I should phrase it, uh, is it to specifically get your quarterback in early if it's at all possible? How advantageous is that? Uh, I think that's the one position, you know, I, um, 
you know, I know it's it's become a trend across the country, uh, you know, for guys to enroll early. And and uh, uh, honestly, I think, you know, the the opportunity for those guys to finish their high school career is still a really positive thing uh, uh, within their framework of their schools. But, you know, from a quarterback perspective, the opportunity to have those guys come in early, be a part of spring practice, be a part of the the spring development uh, cycle um, in, in terms of learning is is extremely valuable. It proved very valuable with Carson Camp when he was able to do that. Uh, and so, uh, um, you know, we're excited that he's going to be uh, in that position to be able to come into our program and be a part of it here right away. All right. Now, I'm sure you and your staff can take a little bit of a breath here. Enjoy this for a minute. But but recruiting never stops. Right. And in February, we get another signing day. Uh, with with and there's loads of talented athletes out there, whether they're high school kids or transfer portal guys at this point. So, how quickly do you turn around and get back to work and try to fill whatever holes you may feel like you have remaining? There's uh, you know still a few needs that we have from a program standpoint uh, uh, that we'll address either with the additional uh, class of 22 uh, freshmen or uh, maybe a transfer or two in a specific situation, but. Um, you know, the, the NCAA now goes and we go into a dead period where uh, you do get a little bit of, of uh, reprieve uh, where you can't travel, you can't have uh, individuals on campus, uh, but we'll be doing some planning and organization here as we uh, move through the holidays and give our guys a little bit of time off to enjoy with their families uh, for January, which will become another very important uh, month in recruiting. Well, Coach, congrats on another successful signing day. Enjoy it while you can, um, and at least take a little bit of a break. But uh, appreciate you, as always, uh, taking a little time uh, with us, talking about the, the newest classic Kyle's here today. Thanks, Jay. Appreciate it very much.